Bountiful was a very quiet community. It was more of a bedroom community for a lot of people who were employed in Salt Lake City. My name is William O'Collard. I go by the name of Bill. I worked the Ted Bundy case back in 1974. Deborah Kemp was a very vivacious 17-year-old young lady, always dependable. She was just a wonderful girl. On the 8th of November, 1974, she went to a school play at Beaumont High School in Bountiful with her parents. And towards the end of the play, they asked her to pick up her brother at the ice skating rink. Later that evening, they walked outside and they noticed that their car was still in the parking lot. They knew something was terribly amiss. Was she killed right there at the school? No. But you are responsible for her death, though? Yes. Did it take place in your car or uh, in uh, the place where I lived? Oh, you took her home? Right. I did keep her there for a period of time. Day. 24 hours. Sure. Yeah. Was she alive during that time period? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, during half of it. We searched the area and we found a handcuff key and it was determined that it was the same handcuff key markings that were made by the handcuffs that were taken from the wrist of Carol DeRanche only two hours prior to Deborah Kent missing in town. We were pretty convinced that it was the same person who completed an abduction at our school. We just had no leads. I was in the sheer state of panic, just absolute horror. I just had to get every reminder of that incident out of the car, if it's possible. And I went down the road, knowing the clutches, the rope, the car, just tossing up the window, and the crowbar, and cuts, everything. I'd get mad at myself. Two weeks later, but I'd have to go out and buy another pair. I mean, it's not comical, but that's what I mean. I have had survivor's guilt that because he didn't get me that night, he drove up there, and I think he was just enraged by the time he got to her. I do think about why wasn't it me? Why did I live? Why was I able to get away and not someone else? The parents never saw her again. My heart still goes out to the Kent family. You can't express what a void and vacancy that would leave in their lives.